Bill Courtright and welcome back to Bill Courtright's blog. And welcome if you're part of the Green Circle. We're ready to rock it this week. We're going to continue and this is Energy of Success Part 2. So if you're watching this blog, please go back into uh, in my app. You can go in my app and it's in there. You can get my app in your app store. Just put in Bill Courtright and get the app. Or you can go into our archive on YouTube and, and just Google my name. You want to make sure you get the first one before you start this blog. So Energy of Success Part 2 is, is called Living Above Level 200 Courage. In other words, it's living life level 2 self-mastery. So what does that mean? So I'm going to tell you my life, all right? For many, many years, I've been doing personal development, spiritual development. You know that I've been coaching for years, and I've been, you know, in the medical field working on our health. So when you look at my cage, my cage was very defined. My career has always been above a 200 since I really started it because I live on my purpose and I live above. I've always been courageous in stepping outside the box. My finances, I've always done well financially. And so 200 up there, so I live up there. I don't have stress. I don't have anger. I don't have any of these lower energy things. Health, obviously, that's who I am, right? I was a diet exercise guy for many years, and my team here at Court Rake's been working to change my brand more to coach. But, you know, I will always be connected, obviously, with the stress response diets and everything else. But that has always been above 200 since I had lost my weight and, and, you know, many, many years ago, three decades ago. So then in personal development and spiritual development, then I've been seeking since I got that book. What changed my life was finding the book, The Power of Positive Thinking. And I talk about it in the, in the new Stress Response Diet book, how that was the defining moment. That's when I changed. I had lost 100 pounds three times, always gained it back. It was because of that book that I never gained that weight back. And that started my career that has now expanded for well over 30 years. But in my relationship category, I have never lived up to 200. I've always had difficulty with relationships and I've gone through you know, multiple divorces and everything else. And if you look at my background, and a lot of you know about my childhood, I came from a very abusive household. So when you come from a physically and a verbally abusive household, relationships are gonna be a problem for people. So when I look at my energy, and we looked at those energy, those lower energy levels, I would live in energy level 25 desire in my relationships because in my relationships I really, really desire not to be alone. And then fear was always involved at 100 because I was fearful of being alone. So I would go from one relationship to the next relationship. I was a relationship guy. I could never be by myself in that. And so what happens is it kind of brings you in and even when you think things are going well in your relationship, you're kind of living a 175 pride. It's like, I'm, I have a great marriage and you're doing it by pride, but it was never that way until about five years ago. And so when this energy changed for me, it was because of the person I got with and my, my current wife, her, she lives her energy levels high. So what happened was she actually pulled me up. And I can say for the first time in my life, my cage, my self-concept in all five life categories, I live above 200. And so what has that done in my life? Well, it helps me live by my values. It helps me live in peace. It helps me live in love. It helps me live these values that I have that are very strong for me. It also helps me to attract more success. You gotta understand as human beings, we are all wired through energy. Everybody knows this, I'm not making this up. You walk into a room and it's negative, you're gonna feel the energy. You walk in around somebody positive, you wanna go meet those people, you don't even know why. Because we're all connected through energy. So being with Linda, her energy levels were always so high that at first, it actually hurt our relationship in the beginning because it made me uncomfortable. But once I surrendered to that and I came up, our energy, it's been terrific. I mean, my life is different. It's really different. So what's it like to live at courage and above? Well, here's what people get confused. They think because I advanced in the self-mastery that I never get angry or I never have anything happen. And that is just not true. 
you're going to go down in these lower levels. I've actually learned how to use anger as a modality. What do I mean by that? I don't get mad. So I don't have this program anymore. This program has been released. So when I get angry, if I'm talking to somebody and I have to sometimes get angry to bring myself so they'll listen to me, and I'll say, okay, you know what? Listen to me and I'll get a little angry. I can actually see behind myself that, well, I'm not really mad. I'm using this. And once I get their attention, I can shift my energy back up. And once I leave the situation, I don't carry it with me. That's the difference when somebody lives level two, is they don't carry these negative energies. Listen, grief is a very low energy at 75. If my dog dies, I'm going to grieve. If I lose something, you're going to grieve. It's okay. The thing is, you don't want to get stuck in grief. That's what happens to people. I meet a lot of older people in our clinic, and they're stuck in grief because they live a life of regret. They have all these regrets that they're living 20 years ago. And they live that energy level. And it's a terrible energy level because people really don't want to be around you. They'll see a certain patient come down the hall, they'll run the other way. Here comes Mr. So-and-so because you don't want to feel that negative energy. Everything is energy. So when you look at it, what are some things at living, at living uh, 200? Well, these are things I will not accept. I will not accept energy level 30 guilt. I do not allow people to guilt me. It's very important because 30 is such a low energy level that if you're living level 200 or even living level 175, you're up here, right? The moment somebody guilts you, it's so low of an energy, it's like you flushed your energy down the toilet. And that's the way you should visualize it because you just pummeled your energy down. So nobody's allowed to guilt me. It's a rule in my life. So why do people use guilt? because they use it to control you. So if somebody's trying to guilt me, they want something. So what I do is I politely ask them, please don't guilt me, but tell me what you need and let me see if I can help you. And I do it very respectfully because I must let people know that they cannot guilt me. And I do not guilt myself. It is such a negative emotion that's accepted in today's society that you have to guard against it. So it's one of my life rules you're not allowed to guilt me. The other one I don't allow is apathy. Apathy is an energy of I can't. Biologically, it's an energy of assistance. It's why we have it. But I used to do things. One of the things I will tell you, I'm not the most handy person around the house. My wife and my kids will tell you, I will hire somebody to mow my lawn. I'm not going to do it because I always looked at it from the Pareto principle that, you know, 20% of my energy goes here. This is what I like to do. This is how I get paid and this is what I'm worth. And 80% over here, I want to just go ahead and outsource because that way it frees my energy to do what I want to do and it's more profitable for me. But for me, sometimes I take it to the, to the extreme that uh, we need to change that light bulb and it'll go right in my head. I can't. A light bulb, mind you. I can't and uh, I'll catch myself right away and this is how you get out of apathy. The moment you say I can't, you switch to I won't. I won't change that light bulb. And then you can make a decision is, am I going to have one of my kids change the light bulb? <laughs> or I will just go do and change the light bulb. See, here's where people get held down. Apathy is lower than fear. People think they don't become successful because they're afraid when really they're stuck in apathy. And that you will hear it, you may hear it with yourself. And you're telling yourself, you know, here's a program, and we're in the medical field, so in, in the medical clinics, here's a program that will change your life. Oh, I can't do that. Or I can't do this. Really, if you just change that to a, I won't do that diet, I won't do that exercise, then what's happening is you can really make a good decision. If you decide you're not going to do it, then that's your decision to live unhealthy. But don't say you can't because every time you do that, you're programming your subconscious, which drives your actions to failure. You're actually programming yourself like a computer. I'm a failure because I can't. So I don't allow guilt. I don't allow apathy. Grief is just something that comes. Fear comes. The thing is with fear, you've got to notice it. 
I'm careful with desire. That's another lower energy because I realize the law of attraction and focus. My good friend JB Glosinger, you know, just recently on Morning Coach talked about focus and the more you focus on something and really wanting something, the less you're gonna get it. And it's because of the way of law of attraction. And that's the desire energy. Anger is gonna happen. I'm gonna to tell you, things are gonna make you angry. The difference is, is you have awareness. When you're a level two person and you're self-mastery, you have awareness. Hey, I'm getting angry. Why am I getting angry? What's making me cause anger? Is it a program I need to release? Is it something I need to work on? Or I need to be angry so I can communicate with this person? Here's the difference. I will not carry anger to the next moment. I can get angry, I can get bad news, and I can get upset, but once I do that, it's gone. That's the difference between being stuck with anger. I got people that come up to me, they're, they're, they're angry about something that happened five years ago, and they just carry it with them. Imagine, we're talking about the energy of success. All these things take energy. Wouldn't you rather take that energy of anger of an event that happened five years ago and turn it towards creating something that could be beneficial for you and your family? or your health. See, that's why people are tired. They waste their energy on these lower levels. The one I have to be most careful of is 175 pride. When people tell me, wow, you're a great speaker or you're a great coach or what a great program you built. I'm very careful. I will always say thank you and always be polite, but I will tell you right now, I am not responsible for any of these things. I was given these by the grace of God or grace of universe, whatever you guys want to talk about it. I call it God. I'm comfortable with that because this was given to me. When I write my books, you don't understand. I just channel this and it comes out. I understand things that would take somebody maybe seven years of medical school and I can understand it in a second. That is not me. That's a gift. The moment I think I'm responsible for all these things, that's when pride takes over and will take me out of level one and put me in level two. That's the one I watch very carefully with myself. And I have to check myself because there is an ego and there is that possibility that it'll come down. But when you're living a life of 200 and you're living that level two self mastery, courage and above level, man, it's an amazing life. But you gotta understand, that you gotta have focus. That's what our, our green focus management program is about. It's helping people to focus on their values and focus on the five life categories and focus so you're taking action and you're keeping all the categories up. You can't let your health drop and think that you're gonna live this life level too. You can't let your money and not focus on taking care of your budgets and that and think you're gonna live a life level two. You're just not going to. You can't not focus on your relationships. See, all five of these categories are very important. So that's today's, that's today's blog or vlog or whatever we're gonna call it, right? And today we were talking a little bit, we, we, we talked about this as a second part to the energy of success, but this was living above 200. And I hope that you guys are starting to understand this concept because it's a great concept because you can measure your life. And when you, I've always said that about stress. How can you manage something that you don't measure? I used to tell doctors that, professors that. You're telling me about stress management, but how do you know unless you measure this? And that's how I developed my entire Elite Fit Forever company and, and the new book, you know, the new stress response diet. But it's the same with success. How can you really determine where you're at if you don't have some type of measurement? And that's just the way I work. And I hope what I do can help you. So feel free to contact me. I look forward to your comments. You can contact me at my website, www.billcourtright.com. You can email me, bill at billcourtright.com. And I look forward to getting your feedback on all this. And I want you guys to understand that this is all coming from love. This is some new information. I got a new book coming out next year called The Cage. It's gonna be an amazing book that's gonna really teach these levels and, and how they work in real life. So I'm very excited. Stay inspired, live in that green zone, and have yourself a fantastic week.